Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Kerry Gem Spiritual World. So I am a tarot reader and today I'm going to be doing a reading for all you Tauruses out there. I'm actually a Taurus um, star sign myself. So I want to get straight in with your read Taurus to find out what's happening for you now. So what is the energy currently for Tauruses? What is the energy for Taurus? What is happening for Taurus right now? Okay, we've got the Ten of Wands. Oh, we've got the Seven of Cups. Queen of Swords and the Devil. Ooh, I feel like some of you out there are going through a predicament. Yeah, really strong messages coming through actually. You know, you've got the Devil card and the Seven of Cups. So this is indicating to me that there is a choice you need to make. There are like, there's like a lot happening right now for you. Um, Ten of Wands, you, you're carrying a burden. There's something heavy you're carrying around with you. And the Queen of Swords is just saying, you know, this energy is like, you need to make this decision. You need to stick to this decision and then make it. Um, stop contemplating. But I feel like, yeah, there is... So let's just find out what is the decision, what's the decision you need to make. So what does Taurus need to decide? What is the decision this Taurus is contemplating on? Okay, we have... Ooh, Ten of Cups and King of Wands. So yeah, some of you are contemplating about a relationship. Yeah, a lot of you are thinking about whether this decision is going to make you happy. I'm definitely seeing if it, you know, you want to know if you're going to get a rainbow at the end of the tunnel. King of Wands, I see this person is involved. This person is quite fiery. This person, hmm, this person could be to do with your decision that you need to be making. Um, it's just definitely coming through strong as decisions are taking place. Um, I'm just going to find out more from the Oracle for Taurus, please. What is the decision that's coming up? Uh, I'm on the right track for this energy. Oh, okay, we've got animals and travel. Hmm. So, Tauruses, I feel like perhaps decisions are about travel and animals. So, I feel like, um, so some of you might not be this heavy situation, you know, we've got animals and travel. So I feel like a lot of you, you may even be spiritual and have spirit animals around you. It's one thing I'm sensing. And I feel like um, with spirit guys, this is almost like um, a transformation of travel as well. So for some of you, this is actually a spiritual transformation. So I feel like um, decisions need to be made could be to do with your own spiritual growth as well. So yeah, it just could just mean that you are travelling in your own spirituality, connecting with spirit animals, connecting with these energies. And then for others of you, you Taurus people, perhaps there are decisions to be made with travel. Perhaps there were things that were cancelled for you this year. Perhaps you're going to be making arrangements. You know, the devil card um, in your reading does speak highly of kind of a toxic situation. Something that is either addictive or that you need to kind of walk away from. So for some of you, you may even be in a bad relationship. Um, what else can we find out about this toxicity? What is coming through for this toxic energy for Taurus and Taurus? Okay, we've got shining through. Yes, so I spoke about spiritual growth. Some of you are definitely going through this enlightenment. Shining through, there is this beam of light around you and you may not be able to see it now, but it is there. You know, with shining through of Ten of Wands, there is, there is light around you. There is this fire burning. This fire burning in your belly. I'm just really feeling that. I feel like you are this lotus that is going to grow. Um, whatever it is you need to get away from is, is calling you. Um, so I was going to find out for Taurus. Yes, the Enchanted Sea. There is location, this travel. It's like constant. It's constant. Um, the Enchanted Sea, there is directions. So, you know, with the Seven of Cups, we spoke about decisions need to be made. And what's one thing I see in the Enchanted Sea, we have this compass. So this is whether you go, you know, north, east, south, west. You've got these directions, directions to go in. Again, this is like, you know, you are making a choice for yourself um, and set and see, set and sell, it's just, it's just um, somewhere you are heading and that is the travel you're going in. So like I said, there is this journey you're going on, whether this is spiritual choices, um, it's just, 
What else can we find out? What are the decisions and choices, the direction of travel? Where are they going? Where is Taurus heading? Taurus is heading Knight of Wands. Yes, so you are going to get your stuff together. You know where you're going. You know. Deep down, you know. <laughs> I feel like, yeah, you know you know the right direction. Um, it's just made, perhaps you need to... I feel like you need to listen to your intuition. So what is going to help you make a dis this decision? What is going to help you make this decision? Okay, we've got Ace of Pentacles and Three of Cups. So I feel like... Um, celebrations taking place something that you're going to head towards ace of pentacles does represent something new growing something new is growing in your life which again i'm picking up this spiritual energy because of feathers there's a lot of feathers around you and perhaps you don't notice them but there is a lot of feathers and there's a lot of light i'm seeing light 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 bulbs light um like orbs um yeah I feel like you are guided more than you know. So is this energy I'm picking up, your energy, someone else's energy? What is kind of blocking you from decisions? Eight of Wands. Okay, news. News is coming. News is coming and it's coming so fast. Scary fast. Um, yeah, some, you're going to hear something. Something... Um, it could be by text, it could be by a letter, it could be a phone call. You're going to hear some news, some anticipation, something you've been wondering what is the answer. So I just want to get more oracle cards for you about this journey you're on and these decisions. Okay, we've got life purpose. Yes, so spirituality is high in your reading, Taurus. Um... I feel like you have a life purpose here and you don't know it. I feel like uh, your life purpose is to help others. Perhaps you are a healer. And again, you have so much moon energy in your reading. You have so much light. I'm seeing so much light. Again, so much light. But this burn up, this burn up can explode. You need to manage these emotions. Again light. So Taurus, I just want to get a bit more information from the Oracle and then I'll close out the Tarot because I feel like um, there's something triggering you. So where are they heading on their spiritual journey? Where are my Tauruses heading on the spiritual journey? Okay, so you got a lot of messages um, come through from that Oracle. Okay, we have the Rose's Kiss, Tender Embrace, Close Encounters and Will and Release. There is something close to your heart is what you need to make a decision on. Will and Release is your spiritual journey. You know, you, you want to make a wish. There is wishes, wishes kind of happening for you. I'm seeing transformation. Butterflies again, transformation. This is almost coming through as spirit animals. Your spirit animal is a butterfly. Um, that's one thing I'm picking up. Tender and embrace and the roses kiss. A lot of you, this is love. This is a love situation. This could be even self-love. I feel like there's a decision you need to make and you're going to embrace it. You could be embracing this person. There is something that you're holding on tight to. Again, I'm seeing butterflies. So can we have the outcome for Taurus of this? love situation, this heavy feeling that they're feeling about. Queen of Pentacles, okay, she is the mother of all earth, all earth elements, nature, animals, you name it, spirituality is strong in your reading, you're kind of managing everything at once, there is so much going on in your mind, in your life right now, and you're, you're juggling so much stuff, but you're able to do it because you are this queen. You are this energy, okay? So you can nurture anything you touch. Um, what else? What else is going to come out from this outcome? The spiritual journey and love. Strength. Oh, wow. Taurus. This is, this is so, so positive. 
Queen of Pentacles and Strength as your final cards. This reading. Whatever you are going through, this, like I spoke about, decisions need to be made. There is, um, there is kind of things going on in your mind. You're carrying a lot. There is like love situations. Um, spirituality is strong. Though. Spirituality is something picking up in your reading. Strength is what's going to pull you through. Whatever you are going through, strength. You need to hold on to that. Strength is like such a good card to pause your last card. Especially with the Queen of Pentacles. I love the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is represented by a Taurus. Taurus energy, strong. So, so I really hope you enjoyed your reading, Taurus. And that you, um, hopefully it resonated with you. Let me know in the comments uh, down below. And don't forget to subscribe to stay tuned to future readings. And yeah, I wish you a lot.